Hello and welcome back to Everspace 2. Now, last episode, I left you guys on the most of evilest of, of clinger, cliffhangers. Because um, we just picked up this brand spanking new Titan class ship here. This is a bomber class ship now. Uh, it is it's a chunky boy. But we didn't actually take it out for a shakedown cruise, now did we? We, uh, we just, gotcha. we just, well, I just ended the episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to find out what it can really do today. We are going to continue down along the story missions that we have. Um, so I brought myself here to Ceta Orbit, which is in the center, because I was doing a couple of um, sort of um, uh, like these unknown signal type things around here, just to sort of gear up a little bit, get used to the ship so that I can show you properly what it's capable of and, and perhaps how to use it and stuff like that. Um, so I, we got a couple of uh, little jobs for the CMB um, place down here, Nephis, this plane station. Uh, so I think we're going to go do the one in the hinterlands over here, the lost cargo. We'll accept that. Then we're going to swing back up towards, back up to Sito and go through these undiscovered sites as our mission to find a hive unit is what we need in order to activate the jump gate, which is, I suppose, unlocking really the rest of the game because if we can unlock the jump gate uh from union bridge then we have access to presumably union uh from there we can go to drake zarkov atheon and all the others basically the other the other solar systems and all the rest of this game don't forget guys we're still in the bloody starter sector here so <laughs> we got a long way to go and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to see and do and kill Lots to kill. Lots and lots of things to kill. So let's get over and do this lost cargo mission then. In our brand spanking new bomber class vessel. Uh, don't forget as well that in this ship, missiles do not use ammunition. They use energy. Uh, so my weapons use energy and my missiles use energy. So finding a decent power core for this ship is vital. <laughs> Absolutely vital. Uh, for those of you that are slightly disappointed, maybe you wanted me to check out some of the other classes of ships, don't worry, there's still lots of game left. I don't have the money to buy the ships at the moment, but I do intend on checking out, especially the, the sort of Vindicator type class ship that resurrects drones and stuff like that. I do want to check out the gameplay of that. I suspect it's probably a little boring, but well, we won't know until we find out, will we? So, oh boy, hello. This is where the cargo should be. And the signal's different. The cargo could be inside a structure. Uh, straight into some action then. Two missiles away on that sniper drone. We need to put that thing down. There we go. Still utilizing uh, the railgun. It is an excellent weapon. I think I'm going to have to switch to uh, flak here, though. We are getting shot up a lot. A couple of missiles over there. The missiles have got armed are like uh, generating missiles. They're almost like, like putting a debuff on the enemy. There goes my shields. All right. I'm going to infect these guys with a virus here. I just need to get close. Have a virus, mate. Spread that to your friends, will you? Taking a lot of armor damage now. And that was the virus. So we're still under attack. Switch back to the railgun. Group missiles like that, kind of useless, unless you're hitting a static target. You can see, this thing does well uh, tanking damage. Maneuverable enough as well, but it's not utterly useless. They're using thermal guns at me. Push the EMP missiles. Should disable them for a second or two. Are these EMPs or are they shield breakers I'm using there? I don't even know. I need to check my loadout. But there we go. It took a lot of armor damage there, but it uh, it took it well. They are shield breakers. Sorry, they're shield breakers. Uh, marksman EMP do um, 42 energy damage to 174. These guys just sort of put a debuff on them. I could really use some kind of like powerful homing missile. I'll use that and then and then something that does both shield and hull damage. Along with my pod rockets. In fairness, the pod rockets I could just probably equip when when I'm attacking a base. Um 
So I'm still getting the hang of like loading my missiles out in, in the optimal way. I think it's like a standard homing missile that does hull damage. The body boys when we're taking on immobile structures or large ships. There's a blueprint there. There's a blueprint there, guys. Just a common one, but still. Cargo unit. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, we got a we got a, a crate or something over there. You know, I have got um a perk, I think, that it's Delia's nanotechnology. So if I can invest into this a little bit more, we can get nanotech where um our nanites repair armor. At the moment they don't, and we can only repel ar repair armor by killing enemies. Which is odd, but <laughs> Oh boy, that is a full inventory already. Look at that. Um, so we've got... you have got some new armor plating here. This guy is basically the same as what we've got, but plus one firepower. Then that's six plus four percent repair per kill, but less armor. Plus 30 structure, so that's tankier. That's more repairs to kill, but minus a lot of armor. And that is minus a lot of firepower, but higher precision. And the same armor repair rates. We've got a coil gun, which is better than the rail gun on paper, but not really. We're going to uh, dismantle that. There are the EMP missiles. The EMP missiles might be better equipped than the than the shield breakers, just for the time being, uh, because they actually disable incoming ships. Uh, there we've got a lot of armor plating all of a sudden. I'm not sure where all this has come from. We just must have picked it up. That is a nice Gauss cannon, but again, uh, is it better than a charged railgun? Probably not. We're going to dismantle it so we can unlock the blueprint. There's a new sensor, but that's not as good either. And probably as for the rest of these sort of components, calibrated pulse lasers, blood star repeater. Well, that's different. This is a blood star repeater. It's actually part of a set. Look, two blood star equipment. What have we got? Have I got any? I haven't got any equipped, but. Two of three. Interesting. 50% uh, chance to drop from any outlaw. Boosting increases blood star weapon damage by 25%. A repeater. The scatter gun. Interesting. So it's a shotgun. All right. Fine. We don't have any other blood star weapons equipped, so I don't know where it's getting the um, two of three from. Oh, the blood star plating. This is this is all Bloodstar Renegade plating that I could dismantle some of this because that will unlock my uncommon. Uh... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that worked out really well. Look at that! Nice. All right, we can dismantle mines as well. We're not going to use be using mines anytime soon. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. So we've got Bloodstar repeater and Bloodstar plating, a set of equipment there and that is not something i've come across before so interesting i have to keep an eye on that Gatter gun i'm not particularly like keen on using to be honest it's, it didn't really work very well so yeah it's got a much higher f rate of fire than the, the the um the sniper rifle whatever it is rail gun that's it those are the words thank you brain but um that's that short range scatter shot thing i don't i didn't find it particularly useful that, that's not to say it won't be useful going forward though so maybe keep an eye on that one keep it in my inventory for now an opportunity may present itself to get us three a set of three emp missile he is fried and dead Two targets so nothing particularly exciting but there we go okay no loot around here let's go to the location it's telling us to go to and have a look around shall we looks like a titan sized gap in that uh, hole there this is odd I have to catch that drone Didn't really have to catch it at all. It's that still in front of me. <laughs> I think that's the mission, isn't it? 
that give us anything interesting. They gave us a level 10 sensor. Very nice. Can't use it just yet. Mission complete. I think we have to go back to the planes now in order to hand that in. Uh, so let's go. These mission areas I don't think really count towards the area complete thing. So once you've done what you need to do here, I think you just basically go. Okay, here we go. This is the old British chap, if you remember. The guy that is aggressively British. Do what he has to say for himself. Acquisition. Uh, oh. Wait, is that is that done then? I don't have any other jobs actually in my mission here, do I? Lost cargo. This guy, right. Good day. Good day. How do you do? Our cargo ships were attacked at. Please go there and see if you can salvage a cargo among the wrecks. Get, a Nephis, get it to Nephis plane station. Don't worry, we've got insurance. Ah, Calling there we go. Station. This is Nephis station. That finished the job. Affirming your signature. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Uh, quick check at the old uh, shipyard here. There's a scout, ranger, sniper, uh, an interceptor. Power converters. Weapons use boost energy. Oh, yeah. Heavy boost weapons. Yeah. Another Titan. Vindicator. Vanguard. Overcharge. Light. Fast little bastard. That is Dominator gunship as well. Okay. So, nothing... Uh, nothing we haven't seen before in there at the moment. Okay, good. Uh, Alright. I think there's just a few things I want to sell here that aren't useful. Things like seeds... The extra nanobots that I don't need, the extra power converters that I don't need, and so on and so forth. We could try crafting a new energy core. It makes one way better than our current one. Equip! <laughs> uh, and that is, completes the challenge and everything. That one then can get dismantled. Lovely. Give me some of the components back. That was a nice little upgrade that we just made for ourselves. Uh, let's see, what else can we do in the module front of thing? We do a cargo unit and plating. Uh, our cargo unit is currently level 5 and our plating is level 8. So let's try a cargo unit. Yeah, it gives us a little less structure though, but I'll accept. Very nice. A bit of uh, crafting, very nice. Good stuff. I'll keep on holding these Bloodstar stuff in case we do get a set. I want to see what impact it might have. I wish I could craft a, a shield generator here. I can craft a, a grey one, but uh, not an uncommon. So I'm going to hold off for now, just in case we get one that we like the look of. All right, let's head over to our next mission. All right, here we are, ladies and so gentlemen. Okay. Fog. It'll be hard to find a base in this mark. There is a lot of fog, as Adam quite rightly points out. However, if I was a base, I'd be on the biggest smeggin rock there is in this sector, and that looks like this hunk of bunk in front of me. So let's have a little speed through. Oh, I've detected a container. And my sensors are still working. Hello, we've got some hydras here as well. Time to crack out the old flat cannon, I think. There's uh, resource deposits here too. Nice. Missiles. Check them out in a second. So there's that. You drop some biomass. Oh, flak. <laughs> Makes things so much quicker. Uh, Scattergun. Yay. <laughs> Can I have a weapon I like, please? <laughs> New railgun would be nice. This one is currently struggling in the level on the map. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm seeing some red targets have popped up 4.7 kilometers out from our beacon. The Flying Duchess is here. Interesting. She gets around, doesn't she? All right, railgun then. Four kilometre range this thing has. Three drones down. Proto scout is left. Alright. 
Remember, these don't use ammo. Three missiles away. <laughs> Did none of them hit? What the hell? Guess I'll just finish them off with the railguns then. No big deal. Okay, so the, the the Flying Duchess, that's a beacon. That calls the trade ship here, I assume. Call the Flying Duchess. Yes, it does. Okay. We don't need to do that at this time, but if we get enough loot here, it's good to know that this area, we can have a trade ship here if we call one in. All right. No, wrong button. I don't want to go into hyperspace. We need to have a look around. Oh, hello. That's a skull. That means high level bad guy. There. There's 6.5 out. I mean, it might be a level 5 railgun, but. Still does the job, right? <laughs> I see a beacon on the asteroid to the left. That could indicate a base. Now we were checking out this base. I reached a base. Any clues I should look out for? If it's a beanie, it should have some dome like structure attached to it. But even then, you'll need to blow the whole thing up to be certain. All right, this one looks promising. Where the hell? All right, so we're here. My pod rockets came very handy there for a second. May even... They may even still be very useful right now. They'll have to wait. Busy. Oh shit. Not too busy now. Never mind. Shields, come on. They really don't even need to be accurate with flak, do you? <laughs> Just that'll do. All right. Evacuation. Base down. Could or could not have been a beatback. We'll know in a sec. Bullseye. I caught the distractor signal. I can now triangulate its source to the other two locations. One's here, and the third. Damn, this is not good. Can't find it or too dangerous. Let's just say it calls for more advanced planning. I'll focus on the next one for now and then meet you back in the hangar. We can figure it out from there. Good call. See you at base. Energy sphere socket. Okay, a little puzzle here as well for us. Energy sphere socket. Okay. Your container. All the freaking loot out there. The dispenser. Where was that? Was that outside? Oh no, there's the dispenser though. Okay. I'm guessing these energy spheres don't last very long then. One. Powerful rockets and a mainframe component. Okay, that was tasty, actually. Look at all the stuff we've got here now. Right, got web missiles. These are quite useful for slowing the target down. So, new sensor, no good. So, we may as well dismantle you. Beam laser. I don't, I don't see me using this. One of three blueprint progress. So, let's go ahead and do that. Blueprints unlocked on that. Seeds we'll sell later. We've got a mainframe component. We've got three there, so we'll combine that. 
ourselves another unlock point over here. There is a very nice flat cannon upgrade for us. Ooh, yes. Look at that. That is going to wreck. Union Eclipse set. Switching primary weapons increases their damage by 30% for 5 seconds. But that, lovely. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, more Bloodstar Renegade Plating to go with our Renegade Plating. This is a lesser Renegade Plating, so I'll just dismantle that. And powerful rockets. So these are actually pod rockets. 30% damage for each second the missiles flies. Damn. So the longer you... Longer, the further out you fire them, the more damage they do. Okay, cool. And a, another scatter gun, which I'm just going to go ahead and straight away dismantle. Um, sweet. That was pretty good. I don't know whether to use the web and missiles to keep with the marksman EMPs. Uh, we got the shield breakers as well. 20% refund ammo when firing. Kind of useless on a Titan class, really. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, let's proceed. We've got all this loot scattered around down here that I need to go and pick up. Okay, so I have completed what I need to do here, but this location is probably far from complete. So I should probably have another look uh, look around, though it's going to be tricky in this fog, for any more loot. Now, the, the, the bandits that are here kind of give us a clue where to look. Sometimes they are the ones guarding points of interest, basically. So I'm going to head over here to these outlaws. See what we can find. Oh, my Lou Black Cannon really does a number on Hull. <laughs> Yowchies. Get rid of those mines there. That fire rate is delicious as well. That is a lovely, lovely upgrade, that black cannon. Alright, there's gotta be something around here. This is this is looking far too sort of populated with stuff to not have anything in here. Okay, we got incoming. Container right there, look. Debris in the way. Get out of here. Gibster. Stuff an annihilator virus. Already got one. Unfortunately. It's uh it's very good. <laughs> you have to get very close to them. There's location complete, hundred percent. Okay, we can move on now. Let's uh lock into the next target then. There we go. Looks like I found everything here. The enemies here, but uh, let's go. Okay, I am just rolled straight Don't in here. Any closer. Here we go again. I'm a little bit late here. I um, I went close. I'm bombing. Low on energy. I'm going to use an energy injector. Oh boy. So much stuff floating around. <laughs> Actor beam's gonna be working overtime. flat cannon it is very nice it's very nice guys 
Right, is that that base done, is it? No, it's still stuff on it. Okay. We bombed the shit out of it. <laughs> uh, not having ammo in your missiles. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it turns out quite good. Quite good. Definitely a, 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 a plus. Uh, whoa, hello there, sunshine. Oh, it was on the right missiles already. Yeah. Oh, poor, where? <laughs> I get wrecked. One to go. Time to head back to base. Ready? I'm on a roll. Where do I head back to base right now? Huh? All right, we got so much crap. So much loot. Loot. <laughs> the loot. Loot is ridiculous. Okay. Let's go. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 enjoyment factor of the Titan class bomber, a good 9.5. A very solid 9.5, I would say. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, stay target like that. And um, just unleash absolute misery on your enemies. It's lovely. It is, oh, what are you? I freaking looted you before I even... What? System recovery routine. Removes most debuffs and resets any debuff and build-ups. Fair enough. Not seen one of those before. I must admit that is new. Look at all the news. That can go. You're rubbish. You're rubbish. You're more blood star plating, which I've already got. One of renegade plating nonsense. You're rubbish. 33 that's a blood star set right there then that's that's it uh so between that booster that plating and uh, scatter gun <laughs> i don't want a scatter gun guys i don't want it don't don't i don't it was rubbish but it'll be interesting to see for science of course uh what the difference between performance is this consumable is also intrigues me, but I don't. I haven't had a cause to use it yet. So who knows? Okay. Bloodstar equipped. Eco boost. What? Bloodstar plating equipped. And finally, Bloodstar skeptic. Actually, I might put the scatter gun over the rail gun. The, the, the rail gun is really good. I'm going to keep... Oh, I already had a Bloodstar booster, did I? I did. Oh, well, I just <laughs> swapped it out for the exact same booster. Oh, there we go. We can now make one on our own. Lovely. Um, we had two platings as well, so I'll replace that there. Um, we don't need two repeaters, do we? Wait, is that better than that repeater? Yes, it is. Okay. There we go. We are... Peachy, right? Pink? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. We have the Blood Star set. So, the equipment now has a 50% chance to drop from any outlaw. Boosting increases Blood Star weapon damage by 25%. So, if I do boosted circle trace around something while unloading this scatter gun, and it should uh, it should increase there. I mean, the set bonuses aren't amazing. But there's something, I suppose. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Right. Head towards this uh, minefield over here. Right. Scattergun selected. Yeah. I'm boosting. That is just what I need. Well, it's actually not too bad, really. Problem is, boosting also consumes energy. Are you done? <laughs> Location complete. They're up minefields. Yes, I did everything here. There we go. That scatter gun was actually way better than the last one I used because it was it's like rapid fire, so 
maybe I judged scatter guns too harshly. Wrong button. That's the one. Did the job. <laughs> okay. So apparently we've got to return to base now, which is odd. But I do have a couple of jobs, uh, a, a few jobs around this area that I want to do as well. So I got a job there, minesweeper. I got a job there. Or is it there? That's it. Search and destroy. And we got a job down here. Item retrieval. Cool. Oh, and acquisition of goods, it would seem. Requires deliver liquor. Five liquors. Which we happen to have. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, well, that, that worked out quite nicely, didn't it, really? All right, let's get back to base then. Uh, well, this, this, I'm going to do these on the way. This one and this one on the way. And then we'll go to base. Then we'll, we'll cycle round base and we'll do a nice little round trip. How's that? Um, Tito Outer Rim. Let's go. Dax, anything new on that third distractor? Dax? Hey, uh oh. Dax went down to the hangar. He said he needed to prepare for something. Say, was your friend close to any Ethium when he was injured? Yeah, we were out mining for GNB when his engine caught fire. Why? He got what we call a crystal burn. It's caused by destabilized Ethium and inflicts serious progressive damage to human tissue. Ooh. The only way to stop it from spreading is to amputate. Oh, man. I'll use some cyber prosthetics from the medical transport. The procedure will take a few hours. He never deserved any of this. Please be careful. Don't worry. It's what I'm trained for. Thank you, Delia. Ouch! That sounds painful. Crystal burr. And then he needs to get amputated as well. So he's going to have a robot arm. Presuming it's his arm. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, hey. Do you, get, do you guys want to see what the ultimate on this thing looks like? <laughs> when you think it's over, it ain't over. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah. It's basically, it's a BFG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. BFG. I got BFG. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> On boosting, I have a weapon boost. So we equip the flat cannon. We give them a nice little spread of missiles. While boosting. <laughs> this nefty station. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Nefty station. Job's complete. Job's complete. Good. I want my payment. It was easy. Was fine. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Man to our home, away from home. Although, as it's the only home I'm known of in this game, home. Excellent. You're back. We're so close to finding the ghost fleet, but there's one last distractor between us and that hive, and it's located at the worst possible place. Palaemon's wound. Isn't that where the Okar blew up a planet to end the war? Yeah, only one orbital fortress survived. Bloodstar used to hold me there, torture me. That was before they moved me to Fort Cetus, where we met. They tortured you? That job I'm working on? Gas Mask had gotten wind of it. I thought treating me to some electro shocks would get me talking. But you can't get blood from a stone. During my stay, I got to see what they had stationed there. And let me tell you, Polemon's wound is a scrap ton of bad. And that place is their third distractor? Yep, but I'm not letting you fight them alone. Ooh. Get yourself buffed up and prepare to be away for a while. I'll be waiting for you at the wound. Get yourself buffed up. Prepared for a while. Okay, so basically, go and do a bunch of side missions. <laughs> Get yourself boosted as good as you can with noise power cores and end tier loot and stuff. Well, end tier for this system, I suppose I should say. Um, oh, CO signal detector. Wealthy foes. Enemy drops lots of credits upon death. Activate. When activated, reveals a high-risk area in the current region of the CETO system. Ooh. Maybe we'll do that. We'll go pirating. <laughs> um, cool. 
we've got storage here, haven't we? So I've got a bunch of stuff here that is actually I kept because I wasn't level eight and is now rubbish, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> blam, 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 and EMP missiles. Blammo, we got more solar panels that I can't sell here. Do we move out of this system? Uh, okay. That might come in. I feel like that's foreshadowing and that might come in handy in this next mission. I'm also finding the uh, the lack of range between the scatter gun and the uh, the flat cannon here just a little bit grating. So unfortunately, I'm going to be ditching the flat cannon in favor of the railgun again because that long range just I can't replace it. Right. Uh, anyway, we've also got damage booster consumables, cloaking field consumables, mines, um, which I'm not sure. Unless we, we there's a mission where we have to hold an area or something, I don't ever see these being useful. I, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I just don't ever see them being useful. Sorry. Uh, shield breaker missiles and web missiles. So the EMPs. The webbers might be useful in combination with the powerful rockets because we can web them and then just go. Dip, 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 dip. I want to try that. Let's see if that works. Let's go and deliver our liquor. We need to go and do that for acquisition of goods. We also need an item retrieval. We ha I did pick up a side mission while I was off camera as well. Nervous and overworked scientist asked me to investigate the radio silence at the affiliated research station. Find the research station at the Gauntlet, but it's in the Union system. So we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. Um, but yeah, just to let you know, I've got that. I'm going to try activating this thing. See what it does. High risk area. Accept job, repel attackers. Is that it? Oh no, it's over here. Okay, that's a different job. That's just come up. Loot quality minus 30%. That sucks. So, we gotta go check it out, right? Okay, here we go. Oh crap. Right into some freaking. Shields down. Oh boy. Get webbed. Get missile spanned. Damn. Drones, man. Get webbed. Oh my god, they'll keep coming. This guy's still moving even though he's webbed. <laughs> oh Christ, more really?
Christ. Damn, there's a lot of freaking ships. More coming as well. This is where mines would be useful. I've never seen them come at me like this before. Bugging out. Oh, that might be why that's a capital ship. I could be in trouble here. This is not good. I, right, I'm gonna let my shields recharge for a bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a bomber, and he doesn't have shields. He has big skull around him. There's more dudes over there. Can I have some shields back, please? <laughs> oh, Christ. High-risk area, wealthy foes. Okay. I mean, sure. I, I mean, they haven't given me any loot whatsoever, so I don't, I don't even know what the hell is this place supposed to be. And is this guy where the loot is? He's like the boss of the area. Defeated the waves of enemies, now defeat this guy. Right? I, I don't know. Shields aren't recharging. I think I need, like, energy boosters or whatever. But this thing has four kilometer range, so. Oh, yeah, of course, you guys would hop along. Jesus. What the hell was that? The thing like exploded into like three different bombs. These kinds coming as well? What the hell? I am in trouble here. Yeah, no shields and no armor. Charge, recharge, recharge. Me a giblet. Me a little power spheres. More of them coming in, look. You're gonna have to deal, deal with this guy, right? I got an idea for this guy. Oh my lord. He's immune to webbing. Is he immune, immune to this? Yeah, he ain't immune to shit. <laughs> Come at me with a freaking capital ship against a bomber class, mother ducker. <laughs> Get absolutely wrecked, sunshine. Erosion missiles unlocked. 
I think I was only one blueprint part away from that anyway. <laughs> and weather missiles and not. It was nutty. Corrosion mines. Anything else in this sector? There's a big big wreck over there and a big big asteroid. That was that was rough, dudes. That was rough. That was a tough fight. If that's anything like the fight that we're gonna have um at the end of this area, then uh, I might may need some better missiles. I feel like you know. Okay, anyway, so I've done a few bits and bobs off camera just real quick around exploring sort of uh, undiscovered sites. I mean, yeah, so there's still a couple of undiscovered sites around here that I'm thinking we probably should go to in the hinterlands over here before we do this stuff. There's an undiscovered site over here. Um, but uh, I've done a couple and I've got myself a new rapid fire railgun. Rapid, well, it just says rapid railgun, which is lovely. I've gone back to the railgun and flat cannon setup that I had. The Weber missiles and the power rockets seem to be working reasonably well if I can switch between them without getting panicked or something like that. So uh, I think I'm reasonably happy with the setup that I have in order to proceed to the next mission and go to Ailman's Wound right over here, which Dax has set as, as kind of like bad times, right? <laughs> so he said, bad times over there, so make sure you're buffed up. I feel like yeah, I probably could do some more buffing up, but uh, we're going to head over there next anyway to see what the dealio is. But uh, that's going to have to wait until next episode, ladies and gentlemen, because we've unfortunately run out of time today once again. Uh, but I do want to thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the bomber, the Titan class ship here. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a fantastic machine. It's so good. It's It's got so much hit points. You get rushed by the little fighters and stuff like that, as you kind of expect to do in a bomber. Um, but with the devices and alt and stuff like that, it can get you get out of trouble real quick. If you've given enough time to use the Weber missiles and the rockets, oh man, does it wreck. So, it wrecks. As we saw against that bloody capital ship. <laughs> you get the right target and this thing absolutely takes it down. Um, so that was an absolute joy. That was great. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're having fun and I hope you're enjoying. Thank you so much for watching as always. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.